unless your business is ran in a tent somewhere on the side of the road, I would not be using that as your wireless access for your company. A lot of businesses, this is pre-pandemic, um, during the pandemic, um, and post-pandemic, an issue that people uh, will be dealing with is the office Wi-Fi. So our question for today is, how can we improve the office Wi-Fi? Um, and so to start that out, uh, Travis, the first question I, I, I have for you is, why is that important? May seem like an obvious question, but sure. But why is that important? Well, I mean, if you think about the amount of um, mobile devices we all use right now, those things aren't hardwired, right? They're not plugged in. A lot of people also, you know, they'll have tablets, phones that they're working from, laptops. Uh, there's even smart devices that might be even in the office these days. So, you know, clearly Wi Fi is important. Plus, your. Uh, if you have any customers that come into the office or any guests, they're going to need to have access to that as well. Especially if you have like a lobby where they're waiting, you want them to have something to do. And so they're going to want to jump on your Wi-Fi. Now, obviously, if a, if a company is just starting out, it's a new company, or they're just moving into an office, that's one thing. Um, and then, Or if a, a business is already established, they've been at the office for a long time and they're having issues with their Wi-Fi. So can you kind of break down what some of the differences would, uh, different challenges or that they may be facing depending on what, what situation they're in? Yeah, I mean, uh, let me say this. I think the problems that we're seeing with Wi-Fi generally have to do with two things usually. It's gonna be the type of equipment you're using and it's gonna be the location of that equipment. Those are going to be like the two big ones. There's other stuff too, right? There's a like outside interference, things like that you have to consider. But if the equipment you're using is the stuff that was dropped off from your cable internet provider or your fiber internet provider, if it's the stuff that they've handed you, the chances of that actually, you know, uh, giving you the coverage and the like signal strength that you need and being able to handle the capacity is it's, it's not likely unless you have a very small company. So if you have a really small office space, uh, not a whole lot of like, you know, brick or cement in the way, uh, in that office space is just kind of traditional office and it's small, that little device they hand off might be fine. But generally speaking, those devices really are consumer grade. It's consumer grade equipment, but just a little bit beefed up a little bit more. Not much. It's very similar to what you would use if you're a home user. So the first thing I'd say is, um, you know, look at the equipment you have and see if it's, if you actually have a, you know, true dedicated uh, commercial or enterprise style network you know, individual switches, routers, wireless access points. And the second thing is look at your location. Where is this device located? Is it like under a desk with the antenna folded down? You know, is it, you know, behind a bunch of metal or, you know, um, sub, you know, uh, surfaces that might actually prevent the signal from getting through it. So check those two things out uh, immediately to see, you know, if those are causing issues for you. Gotcha. So if you're setting this up for the first time, if you're moving into a new location, um, then you probably don't want to take your router and, and place it in the in the basement uh, at the bot at the corner of the basement floor. Uh, you're surrounded by concrete, right? Well, and you're kind of you know you're you're a little bit at the mercy of wherever that demarcation is, where they're actually bringing that cable into your office space. You're kind of stuck with that, which is why those little those little units that you get from the internet service provider aren't sufficient. See what. What you want to have is actual dedicated wireless access points. They actually uh, are installed on your ceiling. They kind of look like smoke detectors. And you can you can actually put multiple wireless access points throughout your building to give you better coverage um, throughout your entire office space. And then what you do is you run Cat5 cabling or Cat6 cabling back from those access points to your actual dedicated network that's in your network cabinet. Um, and that's that's a more commercial uh, or enterprise style network. And they're not even it's not even that expensive necessarily to do this. You know, we're talking you can get this done for smaller businesses around a thousand dollars plus a little bit of, you know, whatever the labor cost is to have it installed. But equipment, you could you could be as, as low as a thousand dollars. And I know some people might be thinking a thousand dollars, but we're talking about your your company network here. You know, something you're going to have for a decade that everybody's going to rely on to get work done. So it's really a small investment when you look at it across the, the next 
you know, six, seven to 10 years, thousand dollars is not much to spend. That said, if you've got a bigger campus, a bigger location, obviously the price could be considerably more than that. But really you have to take a look at what, what your needs are, how big you are, how many users you have, and then buy the appropriate equipment for that environment. You know, some people, maybe they have a, a wireless extender in every right. plug in the office. Now, is that is that going to improve the Wi-Fi? Yeah, it can. But again, that's more consumer grade equipment. That that's mesh networking. You're going to really increase the latency of those networks. It's not those devices aren't really made for companies and for commercial spaces. That's more for the home user who's trying to extend the wireless throughout their house. Even there, that can be problematic. Because you got to remember what you're doing on this. You're not, this is not just you hanging out at home, browsing on the web. You're trying to get work done, right? You're having phone calls with clients. Maybe you're having those calls on your phone. Maybe it's a Zoom call or a video call and you're on the Wi-Fi. You need that to actually be, you know, uh, fast and not have a lot of stutter in it. Um, so you really want to have like commercial grade equipment. The, the right way to do it is to have somebody who knows what they're doing Take a look at your environment. And, and I want to jump into this. This is the big thing that you need to do. You need to get a wireless survey done of your environment. That's the place to start here. Have somebody come out who knows how to do a wireless survey. They bring a little radio with them that can actually look at the spectrum, see what's actually in the environment already in terms of interference or other, uh, other radios nearby. You're going to need to provide them a little layout of your office, so some blueprints, like a basic layout. They're going to put that into their software. Then they're going to walk around your entire office and they're going to just measure what, uh, what is already there. Okay. Then in their software, they're going to be able to plot the right locations, like the perfect locations for wireless access, access points to be installed in your environment because, uh, more access, more isn't better. It, with access points. Actually, the you want to get the fewest access points possible to get the job done. One, it saves money. And two, you don't create a bunch of overlapping uh, signals and a lot of noise in your environment. So you want to get a wireless survey done. Then from that survey, they can come back to you and say, here's where you need access points. Here's how many you need. Here's the proposal for the equipment, switching, routing that you need to, to take over and actually get you a really good wireless um, uh, internet connection throughout your entire office, and then, then go forward with that plan. That's the right way to do this. You know, it's not just like you can go and fill up every space and it's, and it's going to make it better. And actually, when you were saying that, it made me think of, uh, you know, maybe like a, a fire alarm system. You don't have a better fire alarm system just because there's 40 smoke detectors on every ceiling. You know, it has to be placed properly. You need somebody who's trained and certified to go to, you know, to, to uh, assess uh, the building and find out where the locations, the best locations are. Um, so the same or similar type of thing, I, yeah. I, I, I guess, with that. Well, here's what I'll say. So huh, more access points makes the Wi-Fi worse. It's not just that it's not better. It makes it worse. So I'll give you an example. Uh, we worked at uh, – a school district here in, in Colorado Springs that has around 30 schools. We helped them rebuild their entire wireless network. Whoever did this originally clearly did not do a survey. They were, you could tell that they went in and just said, oh, we'll just put one access point in every single classroom. That's just what they did. This was way too many access points. The problem you would have is your device, your phone, when it tried to get on the internet, would see like three or four access points. And so it's trying to communicate with this one, then with this one, then with this one. You want your phone to just see the nearest access point, the one with the most powerful signal, and, and then use that. But instead it had multiple access points across these uh, classrooms that it could see, and that creates a huge issue. So we went in after doing the survey and in how we solved their problems, we had to remove a tremendous amount of their access points that actually solved a bunch of their problems. We also upgraded the ones that they had to newer technology, but at the end they had like, you know, one third or two thirds of the, the number of access points that they had started out with. And that actually, and their, their Wi-Fi was great from that point forward. What would you say is the easiest thing that a, a business or a company could do to improve their Wi-Fi on their own? 
if there's anything they can do on their own before they uh, call in an expert. And maybe that that's something that would um, help them to see whether or not they really need to call somebody in. First thing, make sure your equipment's modern, right? If you're using something really old, go ahead and update it. You know, talk to your uh, provider, see if they've got new equipment since you first had your service installed. Because if you're using the equipment they installed, you know, five, six years ago, maybe there's a newer version of that equipment that they can upgrade you to. Uh, check the location of that equipment. Make sure that it's elevated. Make sure the antennas are, are actually standing up. They're not laying flat or something. Uh, that you know, and that uh, it's not you know being obstructed in some fashion. That's the first thing I would do. Uh, there's other things you can do. You can check the channels that you're using, uh, and take a look at what other channels are being used in your in your uh, maybe you know campus or you know the other buildings around you. But that starts getting a lot more technical to do that correctly. So I'd just say the first thing: make sure the equipment's at least within a couple of years, uh, you know, old, and it's in the right location. That's the first thing. But really, find somebody who can come out and do a survey. You know, find somebody who can come out and take a look. They're not, they don't take a, a long time, a couple hours. Um, and yeah, you'll probably have to pay for the survey. But, you know, you get to keep that information uh, once they're done. And they're really going to take a good look at what's going on and how things ought to be set up. And then they're going to give you that proposal and say, here's how you actually need to, to design things going forward. Okay, Travis. So we're at the end of the podcast here. And as always, we want to wrap it up 30 seconds or less. Let's make it simple. How can we improve office Wi-Fi? First thing, use commercial equipment, right? Enterprise grade equipment. Make sure it's installed in the right area. Partner with a professional to do a survey and help you actually determine what is the right equipment and where is the right location for this equipment to be installed. That's how you do it. Stop using consumer uh, gear in your works. office. Stop doing it. Buy commercial equipment. This is not, this, this isn't grandma's house. This is your business. Treat it like a business. <laughs>